15 minutes, so this is going to have to be quick. I made some progress. Still got a bunch of disk drives uh, scattered all over the place, but it appears to be very, very dependent on the particular disk drive as to whether this Apple II um, rating thing works. Um, even that TIAC drive, TIAC drive, that TIAC drive, uh, I guess you can't see it on the camera here, it would read them fine, it wouldn't write them. When I first started having trouble with writing that buffer underflow issue, that was when I had the grease weasel plugged into one of the USB 1 ports on the front of this old um, uh, Sana Ultra 24 case that I put a newer motherboard in, and um, it turns out that uh, it didn't have enough USB bandwidth to stream the uh, the flux data to the grease weasel. And, yeah. So I, I moved it to a USB port in the back, and it's got more than enough bandwidth now. So that's where that's where that buffer uh, underrun issue is coming from. And then I, and then after I got that fixed, I couldn't get shit to write um, on any of these drives that I had until I pulled out the Panasonic drive from the H158 and tried it. Uh, and apparently, it has the magical powers that the rest of the disk drives lack. It's a Mitsushita. Uh, disk drive uh, with a Panasonic sticker on it. Um, this one's a JU-455 uh, uh, is the 360K version. Apparently there's also a JU-475 uh, which is the 80 track high density version um, which uh, I went ahead and ordered one off of eBay. I started reading about these drives um, after finding that this one worked and apparently this the JU-475, the 80-track one, is the drive for imaging GCR disks, um, according to the Commodore guys, because uh, being a high-density drive, it can read the half-tracks on and write the half-tracks on um, copy-protected Commodore 64 disks. Now, that's probably not going to work on the Apple II, because the Apple II uh, is capable of uh, moving quarter-tracks. Uh, so, I uh, still don't think we're going to be able to, like, figure out any way to write WAS images um, to, uh, to disk with a PC disk drive. I think you pretty much have to have, um, a disk 2 connected for that. And incidentally, there's, there's a dude that's been, um, adding support for connecting the disk 2 to the Grease Weasel. Uh, one of the Adafruit dudes, I think. Um, uh, but I haven't tried that. It sounds, it sounds complicated. And I, if I do that, if I do that, I'll probably get another Grease Weasel for that, I, but I don't think it's necessary. Um, I don't think I need to write any copy-protected disks out. Alright, check this out. Now watch it fail. <laughs> nope, is isn't so far. Writing it just fine. Now whether it boots on an actual level 2 or not, I haven't tested yet. Apparently, it just all depends entirely on the disk drive that you're using. And I, I will note that um, writing uh, regular MFM disks, like for um, DOS or CPM machines, uh, works fine with all of these drives. It's just, it, it appears that writing those GCR disk images um, that come from systems that don't use the index hole, I guess, are really dependent on the particular disk drive. This video cable is shitty. I don't know if we'll get video or not. Fucking A. Excellent. Excellent. Progress, finally. See you later. I'm going to go kill some monsters and take their loot.